What? Dog likes eggs. Apparently he doesn't like cinnamon toast crunch or whatever the hell you're having. <laughs> yeah, well, we got right in it. I'm gonna get some coffee. I'll be right back. Right. Sherm's your responsibility. Okay. The morning of day one of the Transylvania epic gravel stage race. Shorter day on tap today, it's like 47 miles. Did Leadville on Saturday. Today is Thursday. Spent Sunday packing, and then I drove from Colorado Springs to here on Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, we did like check-in yesterday, um, a little stage talk, and now it's go time. So yeah, 47 miles today. The rest of the days are in like the 60 miles, 65 miles. So this will be a good opener. Kind of see where everybody's at. See where I'm at after Leadville and driving. I mean, I'm back at sea level, but we'll see how the body responds. <laughs> That's better than TikTok. It's so fun to watch people eat. <laughs> hey, Carrie. Hey, Bruce. Just hang with your dog. Or whoever's dog he happens to be at the moment when someone's eating. Seems like yours now, man. He is. Hey, buddy. You don't appear to be very awake. I should have put the alarm at 7 instead of 6. Are you all messed up from your Colorado time? Maybe. Hey, at least your van didn't break down, so that's cool. Mm. Unlike other people today. Sorry, Logan. Yeah, Logan's van broke down yesterday. So, that's a big bummer, though. You know, throw down with the unbound XL champion. That's true. If only we were doing the whole stage race today. You would lose. Yeah, I probably would. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look at you at the prime spot right next to the electric. This is Bruce's bungalow here. Sure. Bruce's bungholio. <laughs> <laughs> is this you, the orange cord, so I know which one to disconnect? Sure, yep, that's mine. No, it's not. I don't have any cords. I'm living off grid this weekend. All right, Bruce, it was a good breakfast with Bruce session, but I gotta go see a man about a horse. Oh, is that what it's called? <sighs> That's what I'm calling it. Let's talk about nutrition. Did you guys think I was going to say the birds and the bees? <laughs> so today's stage, 47 miles, 4,100 feet of climbing. Probably going to take us two and a half hours. Some of this. Some of this. And then flask full of this probably just do 90 in each bottle a full gel flask worth it's that easy when you're dealing with flow formulas if you want to streamline your nutrition program like me use code carry 20 for 15 percent off at flowformulas.com 160 grams of carbohydrates right here in this 250 milliliter flask as far as equipment kona libre Tried and true. GRX 2x11, 3411 on the back. I've got Maxxis Ramblers, 40C Silk Shield. There is Kush Core in there, just cause I had it set up, but the roads are honestly so nice here that you don't, I don't think I'm gonna need them. Rocket fuel. Put 35 pounds in my front tire, 40 in my rear. All I gotta do is throw a kit on and we're good to go. company i saw there's a there's a beagle in your are you guys Follow the trail are you guys taking care of them the rest of the week yeah, or just watch them you know let them hang out okay cool entertain my wife two scoops of food twice a day all right all right same with my wife so what's that perfect <laughs> see you homie be back in a couple hours he doesn't even care he's like please leave dad i'm trying to sleep
good. Howdy. How are you feeling? Pretty good. What are you peanut eating? Peanut butter and jelly. You want a bite? I'm good, thanks. Short and spicy stage today. Less than two and a half hours for 47 miles. Sketchiest part of the day was almost getting nuked by that four wheeler here at the end. That got my heart rate up. Jordan kind of pushed like the majority of the way up over that first climb. And he and I kind of rolled away from everybody else. And then I managed to get a little bit of a gap on him on the downhill down into the pavement. But I didn't want to go that long by myself. So I just kind of sat at like 300, 320 and let him work a little bit to catch back up to me. And then we rolled across the pavement together and hit that two and a half mile climb out of Woodward. I tried to like keep it at 400 most of the way and he hung over the first part. So I got a little nervous. And then there was another little half mile climb after that that I just tried to stay in the big ring and push up over um and that's where i got the separation so that was like halfway in and then i kind of just tried to sit at like 300 to 320 just rolling pushed up over out of po patty the last kind of really really bad technical climb yeah and then i just rolled in a couple minutes you gotta keep pushing i think tomorrow because one flat tire and there goes my lead and it could happen i know there's like a pretty rocky rough section tomorrow it's the same course as last year so but now you know we started at nine less than two and a half hours so we've got the whole afternoon to just kick it i just walked through cobweb how do you deny those eyes you don't That's what I people say, they like, you run, I'm like, oh, I'm chased. Dude, I like, <laughs> I used to be actually pretty decent runner. I'm chased, yeah, if I gotta get the fuck We'd out. We had to do a three mile in our uh, physical fitness test. My best time was 17.30. Oh, really? That's good, that's good I dude. I used to be able to run, I used to be skinny. Gunner's like, nah. That's, <laughs> like, deep, that's yeah, respectable. I, 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 that's very respectable. That would, like, that would challenge Laura, I bet. Uh, uh, 17.30 for three miles? Yeah, my best is like 19.50. Really? Damn. Right now, it'd probably be like 40 minutes in a hospital <laughs> trip. <laughs> you get to hire up officers, like the colonels and that, would be like, let's do a fun run. Get the whole battalion out there. And then you have guys that, like, we'd have, like, I mean, battalions, 500 to 150 Marines just want to catch the infantry. Afterwards. Get these motivators to grab, like, the big American flag or the Marine Corps flag, and then they run up the whole way down the 500 some people. You, like, run with the flag on the outside and go back up. <laughs> God, that like, sounds hard. Oh, it's awful. Because so, like, some colonel was like, this will be fun. Yeah, they call it fun runs. Sure. Too much sounds, fun. sounds fun. Gunner looks like he's about to go on a fun run. <laughs> I'm about to go on a fun run, that's for sure. <laughs> Dude, my, uh... 17. 17 what? 17? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, think about that My out captain, there. Do you think like that you can get a higher up to sign off on that time, Ryan? We need some verification. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll have to look at, I'll uh, find my yeah, It's classified. That's in the redacted document. <laughs> yeah. It's just struck through with a black Sharpie I line. Tell you, yeah. Another 20 years, I'll declassify that. That's I'm <laughs> waiting until 2044 when we'll get to see it. So you got the digits mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. I, I Did I say 1753? I meant 5317. Sorry. We must have just did a mile and a half run that day. <laughs> Keep it rolling, bros. <laughs> 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 
We are going to get started here with some awards. De Groot. De Groot. All right, I got it pretty good. Kerry Werner Jr. Do that. Right. Forty nine. I get to wear a new jersey tomorrow. Tomorrow's stage, sixty three miles with only like forty eight hundred feet of climbing. So, not a ton of bigger climbs like there was today. Kind of just doing elevation throughout. So, might be a little harder to get away from Jordan Wakeley, the the big tall Viking man. Uh, but we do have to drive tomorrow. It's like an hour drive. So, I'm about to get ready for bed. <laughs> go to sleep I gotta leave at like 7 7 15 tomorrow heading over to mo shannon state park my legs kind of hurt i i feel like it went hard today to have extra bowl of cereal tonight